Hey there, so if you're still struggling with the error or the malware potentially that keeps redirecting you from Google to Bing, I know this Reddit post was over a year ago, but it seems like a bunch of you guys are still struggling with that. And so I'm gonna show you all the ways that you can fix this error some are manual, a little bit more hands-on, other, and of course there's an easier hands-off method. I'll talk about all of those, so let's get straight into it. Starting with Google Chrome, which is the most popular browser, so that's what we're gonna be using. So you wanna go to settings, that's the first thing you wanna do, and you wanna go to search engine, and then click on manage search engines and search sites and from here you can delete bing if you see bing here you can just basically go ahead and delete it and you can check if it goes away now if it doesn't go away what you want to do is also go to extensions and if there's anything that has to do with bing or anything that's suspicious what you want to do is also remove that extension and it's very easy to remove extensions just click the remove button here and they will be removed and then you can check if it's still redirecting you to bing now another thing you can try besides deleting extensions and removing bing from your search engine you can also try clearing your browser cache and cookies so in this case again you can go Go to settings privacy and security delete browsing history and basically here you can just delete all of the cookies and cached images and files you might have to log in again to a few accounts here and there on google accounts you can automatically log back in though so that won't be a problem but for everything else you might just have to log in again but essentially after deleting your cached images and files and cookies and whatnot hopefully the malware or virus should go away now, another thing you can do is basically resetting your browser. So again, you're gonna go to settings and here you'll see reset settings. Click on this right here and click reset settings and it will reset everything that has to do with Chrome, including disabling all extensions, deleting all the cookies and temporary site data, as well as resetting some shortcuts here and there. But for the most part, again, you will still be logged into your account and you can just readjust your settings after making the reset. Now, if that doesn't work, and by the way, simply do the same thing on Firefox, on Safari, on Microsoft Edge, whatever browser you're using, basically do the same steps that I've done here. There might be some different options here and there depending on the browser that you're using, but it's essentially the same thing. I would recommend keeping the reset until the very end and just basically try clearing any suspicious extensions and then set Google as your default search engine here. And again, if that doesn't work, you can try clearing the cache and cookies. And finally, resetting your settings should hopefully fix things. Now, the most reliable way to remove malware of uh, viruses, adware, and whatnot is basically by using an antivirus. I personally like to use Norton. It works really well for me and it has a bunch of other extra features here and there like a password manager and its own private browser as well as a VPN. Now, I personally don't use the VPN or the password manager. I've got other separate apps for that. And I'll link them in the description in case you guys are interested in any of those uh, apps. But Norton, if you don't have any individual apps like a separate password manager and a VPN and you're looking for a full package, Norton does provide that. But here we're talking about the antivirus. So in this case, if you have an antivirus, all you have to do is just run a scan. It will catch the malware on its own, whatever it is, be it an adware or a malware or a virus. Norton does incredibly well at that. So I'm just going to wait until this is done. It'll take a couple of minutes and we'll get back to see the results here. And basically what this will do is not only will it remove the Bing adware, or malware, but it'll also remove any other suspicious viruses or apps or any applications that are not exactly supposed to be there. So as you can tell for me specifically, everything is clean and I don't have to deal with any adware. And of course this is possible because essentially I've got an antivirus that's active at all times and anytime an adware or some kind of hijacking virus tries to access my computer or intercept my connection, there's always an antivirus that's putting up basically a wall that is impenetrable <laughs> as far as viruses right and as far as anonymity I, I like to use a vpn and again i'll link everything below in case you guys are interested in getting any of the security products i'm talking about and i'll also be sure to include the best discounts that i can find in case you end up getting any of them so basically this is how you do it that's all there is to it it's just an annoying malware that's spreading and if you're trying to 
get rid of it and antivirus would be your easiest solution and of course you can try any of the other methods that i was talking about in the beginning and hopefully it should work out for you so let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments down below and i'll be happy to answer all of them thank you so much for watching a like and subscribe would really help us out and let us know that you're liking the content and i'll see you guys in the next one